Hello everybody, I'm Alex and welcome to the first Dev Diary video for Will to Survive. Uh, these videos are going to be quick updates on the game to showcase what's been happening and hopefully it'll be the first of many more video diaries to come. Uh, this particular video I'll be showing off some of the new spine artwork that I've been getting into the game over the past few weeks. For those of you who aren't too familiar with the tool, uh, Spine is a 2D skeletal animation package which allows artwork to be made using bones rather than traditional sprite animation sheets. It's a really good little tool and the game will really really benefit from using it. So before using Spine, uh, the artwork looked like this and was using traditional sprite sheets. Um, as you can see, it's not very smooth. Um, and it's using about eight frames to, to flip between. If we wanted to add frames, then a lot more frames of animation would actually need to be drawn. Using Spine instead, we can actually separate the character out into individual parts. So we can separate out the arms, the legs, um, have di a different piece for the torso and the head, things like that. Um, that way we can attach these to bones and then move them about, rotate them and scale them. This makes it really handy because later on if we want to say swap the arms on a walk cycle, um, what we can do is actually keep the legs from the walk cycle uh, but change the arms from a swinging animation to arms holding a shotgun say for example and we've got a new animation. Um, so it's really, really handy in terms of the kind of art creation process and we can get much smoother, much nicer animations from it. So by using a combination of texture swapping, moving bones and rotating bones, we can actually get quite a, quite a decent result for a walk animation or any other form of animation really. Um, and this will save texture memory everything will look smoother and we can do some more interesting things so later down the line if I decide to do full customization for Will you know you'll be able to change your jacket and we can actually reflect that in the artwork by swapping out the torso for a different a different piece of artwork things like that so there's a lot more freedom later down the line you know if we if we choose to develop certain things in the game and lastly, I guess I should probably show you it running in game. So I've managed to get all the artwork in game. It's not the finished artwork, I'll, I'll still be developing it further. Uh, but it's nice just to see it in there and see that it's it's much smoother and, and it works so much nicer than what the previous artwork did. And because we're actually looking at overall in the combat next, um, this new system of artwork is going to really come in handy when tackling the player taking cover, shooting, things like that. So I'm really quite looking forward to uh, to getting, getting that working. So that was the uh, first Dev Diary and hopefully it enlightened you a little bit on the development side of things.